Hey everyone, welcome back to the Canadian Workshop. Today we've got a riding lawnmower deck that uh, one of our customers brought to us. The One of the lifting arms tore off of it and they tried to fix it with JB Weld, but that didn't work. So they want a more permanent solution. So we'll get that welded up for them. Let's get going. So we can see the issue here. One of the, uh, the lifter arms, there's two. There's one here on this side and there's another lifter arm here. And you can see what happened is it cracked all along here and it's still somewhat holding on but everything on this side here of it is actually split right off and they used some jb weld to, to try to hold it on there and it's uh i guess it might have worked for a little while but uh it's not a permanent fix so we're gonna clean all this up pull out the angle grinder clean off all this jb weld and get this area all ready to weld up again First thing I'm gonna do is use a, uh, a flat screwdriver and I'll see how much of this JB weld I could pull off of here. Oh yeah, that's just cracking like nothing. This stuff here is, is good for certain things, but anything that's structural or load bearing, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't use any JB weld on it. I mean, it's a good product, don't get me wrong, but uh, it has its limitations. Like you can see, I'm just peeling this off like, like nothing. I'm having to put in a little bit of work, but I mean, see that? It's just popping off. So that's good for me, I guess. Makes the cleanup a lot easier. Now, you can see, I'll, uh, I'll bring you guys in here. So you can see there's a, a previous weld here, I think, that somebody did. Or actually, that's factory. That one there. And this one here is factory. They only did two welds and you can see if i lift up it's split all around that side and it's only holding on here there's a small small section right there from this crack to that one that's holding on so i'll probably end up cutting this right off we'll clean up the edges and get that welded up and also what we'll do i'll just get this thing lifted up <sighs> is underneath you can see where that crack is there that gives you a better idea of how it's split but you see all this dry grass here i've got to clean all that up or else uh, or else that'll risk catching on fire while i'm doing the welding so i'll get that cleaned up don't forget to always wear your safety gear too gloves and a face shield you always want to protect your eyes your hands your body first thing i'm going to do is Pull off this uh, this spring here. That way we can get this uh, this bar out of the way. And I did take pictures ahead of time, so I make sure I don't forget anything. However, ever how anything goes. So we got a bunch of that cleaned up. One thing I got to make sure the customer said is 15 inches from the outside edge of this bracket to the outside edge of that bracket there. So I have to remember to place that back exactly where it needs to be. I think what I'll probably do, I'll clean up on the underside. I'll place it where it needs to be. I'll tack it. Then I'll drill a hole in this corner here to keep it from cracking. And I'll cut out... There's a, uh, where the crack is here, I'll bring you guys in. There's a, uh, there's a crack right here, and this is the only piece that's holding it on still. And I don't want it to split further in this corner here, so I'll drill a hole there to keep that from splitting further. And I'll tack a couple spots so this doesn't move, and then I'll cut this crack right out. I'll gouge this out so we can get a good weld on this. And as well, I'll gouge out the uh, the existing crack all the way around so we can get some uh, good solid penetration on our welds. One of the key things here is to make sure that uh, we get everything lined back up again. That way, when they go to mount it back on the machine, everything will fit. Now, on the underside here in this corner, there's a piece that's bent down. So we'll get that flattened out. 
one of the issues when uh, fixing things like this is because the way they crack, it's never usually a clean break. And to get things lined back up again is a bit of a pain. So what I might have to do is uh, gouge some of this out in order to get it to line back up again. So I want it to fit back in where it's supposed to go. So I'll have to cut some of this along the edges. And then uh, we'll be able to sit things back. There'll be a bit of a gap. But we'll be able to uh, fill that back in again. So what I'm doing here is getting rid of the uh, the kind of sheared off material so that both both pieces will fit tight again. There we go. So I'll bring you guys in closer here again. So you can see the, um, we're pretty much even now. So that'll be all right. I'll be able to put a couple tack welds here and there. Then I'll gouge out the metal to give myself a, uh, an opening to be able to uh, to do a solid weld on there. I want to make sure that this is going to hold for years. I don't like having to redo stuff, so I tend to uh, overdo it the first time, and then you're good. No worries after that. So we've got that tacked in place. Check my measurements again. I just double checked again with the guy and it's actually 15 and a half inches that we have for room. So we're good there. Everything is still fine around it. I'm just going to drill out this corner here. I just don't want that spreading anymore. And I do have a fire extinguisher off in the corner just in case this thing does decide to go up. So always be safe. Protect yourself and the ones around you. All right. So there's a crack that goes down into a corner here. And whenever it goes to a corner, it's always going to want to run more. So it's always best to drill out the ends. It's always best to drill out the ends of a crack. That way it keeps it from running. So I have that tacked in place. I'm just going to cut a groove here so I could have something to to weld into to fill to get better uh get a better weld the surface weld is usually no good you want to have tapered edges on your welds to make sure that's actually grabbing onto something here at the back we're good we've got a gap there that we've got to fill in so that'll be good there We've got a spot here to fill there as well. Distance is still good. All right. Take my time here. I don't want this to warp on me. It's not super thick metal. So I want to give the, uh, the heat a chance uh, to dissipate. Here, I'm just going to fill up uh, that hole that I made. And I'm moving from one spot to the next. I don't want to, uh, like I mentioned before, I don't want to put too much heat into one area and then just warp this, uh, the, uh, the deck. Looking for good penetration. There's a lot of weight on this deck. A lot of stress. 
So I want to make sure I get penetration all the way through. I don't want just a, a surface weld. I want to make sure I don't get any porosity in there either. It's got to be good and strong. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see some arc shots. I could get a, uh, a filter for my camera that will allow you guys to get right in there with me. So you can see what I'm doing. More than just a bunch of flashes of light. You'll be able to, to see the exact the welding pattern that I'm using. You'll be able to see how, how it looks from my perspective. Just going to check to make sure we still have our 15 and a half. Yeah, see it, it's heating up, so it is moving a bit. We're at 15 and uh, 9 sixteenths. So we're, uh, we're moving a bit away from where we need to be, but there we go. Back to 15 and a half there. So I'll keep going around. If you have any tips or anything, anything you see that I, I could improve on, leave a comment down below. I'd really appreciate it. I'm no uh, professional expert welder, but I have been doing this for quite a while, and my welds seem to, to hold up well. They're strong. Never usually have issues. But hey, I mean, always learn, right? Move back over here. It's starting to smell like uh, an old pipe. All the grass burning underneath here. Well, not burning yet. It's just smoking. There we go. We're almost done there. Et voila. Looks all right. Might be one spot there that I, I can clean up a little bit. That should be pretty darn good right there. Oh, yep. Oh. One spot there I want to touch up. What I'll do is I'll uh, I'll clean this up real good and I'll throw some uh, some primer and some paint on here. Keep this from rusting over. So there we go. It's uh, all cleaned up, primed, painted. I'm just waiting for the paint to dry. Then I'll call the customer, tell them their uh, mower deck is ready to go. So that'll hold a lot better than JB Weld. Oh, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it, especially if you made it this far. If you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of any of my upcoming videos. We'll see you on the next one.